Alright, this video is to answer a question from Rancid Beef Oil 97. Alright, so the easiest thing to do to test a material is to just make a new material. Um, this will be I don't know, um, new texture, add material so that it appears over here. Only then can you add to it. If it's not over here, you can't add anything yet. So the only one that you need to worry about is the uh, base texture and the base texture for the ambient occlusion. That's the bare minimum that you have to have to see something. Also, what is declared here is global for all the materials that are made for this level. So if you're going to use 2048 by 2048 for your base texture, then the base texture in all five of these slots need to be 2048 by 2048. And the macro and detail in all five of these slots need to be 1024 by 1024, if that is what's declared here. Now I found that you can use JPEGs. You cannot use DDSs. Or at least the ones I used did not work. I would recommend using PNGs. They need to be one to one ratio and power of two. Now let's do the first texture. Let's pick something that is 2048 by 2048. How about this dirty snow? Alright, now this map is 2048 by 2048 also. If we zoom all the way out, this is 2048 by 2048. So if I want this to take up the whole room here, this would need to be 2048. Now, that by itself is not going to give you a texture. Let's save changes to file. Over here, add that new material and then we will paint and looky here that is a dark texture all right so like i said the minimum you needed to get this to work is a base texture and ambient occlusion just for time's sake i'll just stick the same texture in there save changes and immediately you'll see the texture now this does not look good as a 2048 by 2048. If this is the only thing that you're looking at, this is where the macro texture makes this start to look better and the detail makes it look better and all the other ones that make it look better. But if this is all you wanted to do, you know, you could just scale that to 128 for example and it would use that scaling, but it would tile. Not the shouldn't have to say it but you need a seamless tile texture to look right for that and also if you change this map scale this has nothing to do with this as far as this can be any number you want it to be same thing with the macro scale and the detail scale these have nothing to do with this this is just the way that these are tiled um, but if you change one and say base color you change that it's going to change it in all of these the base for all of these um, now you that I read that that can be different but it's not programmed that way by default I'm not even sure where you would disable that if you wanted to have varying scales for the different layers but from what I read it's possible now this macro distances and detail distances I'll get into that later I do understand it a lot more now though but just for now the basic thing to check a texture that you can get started is just these two here um, 
let's change this to something else just to show you. And again, something even different. Like some dirty snow here. Some pine straw, some big old pine straw. See, this wouldn't do good. Hell, it don't look good that small. It, imagine if it was 2048 by 2048. So this would be good for a macro texture, not for a base material. Um, maybe something. Uh, let's see here. Let's get a different one. Yeah. I think that too would be a good macro, if anything. But I, I don't know. That looks okay, I guess. All right. So the next thing is like, okay, I want to check my macro. Well, you need a macro with the ambient occlusion as well to check a macro in here. Oh, <clears throat> just to show you. Um, no, I'm not going to show you. I already told you. Put a PNG in there. I would even bother with no jpegs just pngs but you could i guess if you absolutely wanted to uh let's see macro texture let's go to a macro now and like i said this one would have to be 1024 so let's find a 1024 macro of i don't know how about this icy looking stuff here and of course the ambient occlusion needs a macro also to be as far as the bare minimum needed. Okay, now we got our macro. And like I said, this one's scale can change too. You can scale this to be whatever you want but you don't want that that look like that wouldn't look good now this isn't bad but someone uh, the, the same person asked well I had something and it looked severely oversaturated I'll get to that in a minute let's go to the next thing the detail texture you want to see what the detail texture does you don't have to have this one on you can turn that to zero if you don't want to see this preview but you do say I want to see what the detail is going to do to the scene well let's put a detail in there and it does not have to be a high pass filter image to be to work whatnot uh, pretty much anything can go in there let's see here you know what let's do something crazy let's get something that has nothing to do with snow and stick it in there for the detail how about this mud here? And so, oh, oh, almost forgot. Got to put that ambient occlusion in there for that detail to work. I'm just using the same material in both slots so that it's not, you know, too different. I mean, it's different, but it's, you know what I'm saying. All right, save changes. So now we can see our detail map without the macro now you can't turn that off you can however load a blank image you can just render a base you can make a new image at 2048 by 2048 and make it like gray and stick it in there if you want to just hide that so that the only thing you see is just the detail map but you can't just delete one like that and it you know Well, I guess you can. That's not the point I'm trying to make, though. See, and this can have its own scale. You can scale this to whatever you want. But this is detail, meaning this is what you see. Typically, when you're close, you wouldn't want that to be scaled large. That ain't a great one for a detail texture, but maybe with this one also, it won't look so bad. Mm, a little much contrast, I mean saturation. So macro strength and detail strength 
this is up close this is far away so if you have this at zero then up close the macro will not be here it'll be out there or if you have it one here and zero there then you won't see it out there but up here you will now that what makes this and this where that cutoff point is is down here in your macro distances how far the end fade how far it'll go the start fade the near fade and detail has its own settings too but you wouldn't want your detail going out 500 fit out there that's going to be unnecessarily processing you don't need you're not out there so why do you need to see it out there you're not going to see that you just have the game render that for nothing basically so i wouldn't leave this simple um the macro yeah you have that go out pretty far because that it does make a difference um it can help not make the basin map look tiled if you are repeating it like this here for example all right so that's what the distances do but the oversaturation what i would do you can edit the photo you can desaturate the photo in your photo editor you can reduce the, the contrast also if it's got too much dark in it basically think about this think about in your photo editor for example say you got this image and you got say you got this image and you got that image but if you multiply them basically by doing like a linear light that'll kind of show you how by themselves they're not bad but combined yeah that's a bit much so how would you do that well you would reduce the overall opacity of one but that'll make it look less contrasty you know what i mean it'll start looking kind of mute so but how you would do that in here you just say 0.5 yeah you also can tweak the amount of detail in the same way um, what I would love to see them add is an option to have like a color slider you know like the one that's in your material editor that you can uh, find tweak a color by saying you know what i kind of want this to be a little like uh, maybe a little green or a little blue or you know what i mean i would love to see that in the terrain painter 